to determine the baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, presenting the challenger, Ritty Boy. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean super boy, Du Ho Choi. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. big time fights. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. 
Trying to establish that jab once again. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Back and forth we go. Big punch land. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blast the jab. After jab, after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. My goodness! Circling to his right. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Just misses there with the left. Oh, strong punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Big head kick land. If your opponent has to get the clinch, pull it down on your head, land punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, nice right hand. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Nice kick. Digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Just out of range with that punch attempt. And he landed the right hand there. All oh, collar tie. Strong hook lands. So a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. And what a round! Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Oh, significant strike attempt. 
there, but a huge block. the strike and then counters with a straight hand. Nice job by Choi. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Nice punch here. He engages in the single collar tie. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. The next with a right. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Choi. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Left-right combo is good. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, that right hand is on point. Just misses with a left hook there. as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Just missed with the left there. And he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing this way. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Checks that leg kick. <laughs> oh, a little single collar tie there. Okay, let's focus. Let's focus now. Just oh, right under the elbow, right on the bottom. It was a perfectly placed shot. And you see his opponent reacting violently from that punch. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it, it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, he hurt a bad with a jab. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Twenty seconds to go round two. Got clip with the right hand. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Back to the feet now. And that's the end of round number two. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question.
All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Are you ready? You ready? Let's Here we go, third round of this championship fight. on that offering. Now connects with the right. Nice kick. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So on the right side, major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, just misses with the kick. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Oh, what a punch. showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Try to establish that jab. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Defense there, huge block for him. Oh, he stands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown. The punch that lands not close. The one that you don't feel is the one that landed perfect, and that one landed perfect. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Big punch lands through the middle. Single collar tie now. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's out of pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's trying to recover full guard there. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Down into his mouth. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some thrills in the ground and pound fighter. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. What a fight. Lands with the knee to the bottom. Punches and bunches for the longer fighter. He landed another strike there. Oh, big punch lands. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this. Oh! He's out! Just 
a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So on the sports biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 30 seconds of the third round. You're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel tonight. That reel's getting pretty crowded. 